Think lobster baby. This is my baby. My baby seven and a half pound dinner. Smile for the camera, honey. Yeah, there you go. A face only a mother could love, but a tail that everybody can chow down on. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what, huh? Looks just like his mother. <laughs> Five years. And it pisses me off. Really pisses me off. If I find the perpetrator, be assured, I've got plans. The lobster, you gotta kill it quick, man. You gotta just do it and get it over with, man. Zap that sucker right in half. And uh, as I'll show you later, you stick your hand right in there. Rip out its brains, spinal cord, and uh, some of the less uh, edible organs. Most of the stuff you leave in there, and that'll be uh, cooked in with the stuffing. A lot of people like the uh, tamale and uh, the roe. And uh, I tell you, it's just going to be a real eating experience and a preparation experience. So those who are weak of heart or uh, a little queasy in the stomach might want to skip the actual uh, butchering. But uh, oh, the finished product will be something to marvel at. Uh, more vodka, please. Wake in there? Hello? Whoa, yeah. He's ready. He's ready to punish someone. I hope it's not me. Give him that little moment of freedom before it's all over. This is an event you really don't want to miss. Right? Especially you. This part's really tender. So they move their eyes in. Ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It's like punching a dog in the nose. So, uh, this is going to be something you don't want to miss. Classic New England horror. Just gonna make sure that He's out of his misery. He doesn't want to be. All right, you want to do is you just want to cut his brain in half. There we go. Right through the old schnozzola. And. It's a male, friends. You can tell by the green tamale. You can actually call him a guy. 
and know that I'm not insulting him because insults can hurt, but probably not as much as this does. There we go. Some people have trouble with little lobsters. You don't want to wrestle a big guy like this. Ooh. And there we go. First thing I'm going to do is open them up a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to get the kitchen shears. Now this is all inedible. This is all brains and nerves and stuff that you really don't want to eat. And you want to get in there and basically just pull out the spinal cord and that will really stop them from kicking. Let me scoop out these here guts and I'm going to take this. Just scoop it out. Look at that, huh? Yum. We've got somebody in the audience who likes that. And again, yeah, we're going to pull out the brain. Lobster brain. Oh, he still bit me. That is creepy. That is creepy. He bit, bite me with his claws. He nibbled me with his mouth. I guess that's what happens when you tear your brain out. You just go berserk. Okay. Again, you just want to go down the tail. Take out that spinal cord. And you got all those nice juices left in there. And all the guts are gone. I'm going to pour out some of these juices. Just so the stuffing doesn't get real sloppy because as he cooks it's got to drain it right out through the tail here there we go now to wash out some of the debris it's all nice and clean now as you can see We're ready for the stuffing we've got this gaping hole here as you can see the guy's still twitching a little bit and that's a pretty good trick considering considering you don't have a spinal column Pretty good trick. Don't try it at home. Okay. Now this I'm doing here. Put a little extra breadcrumbs in the bottom. That soak. That'll soak up all the juices you saw. Yeah, just about enough stuffing. I wasn't too far off. There we go. Beautiful. A little more. A little more breadcrumbs in there. That'll keep the meat moist also while it bakes. Clean them up a little bit. You always want them to look good. Next step. I'm going to put him on the machine. I'm just going to make him ours. Just going to make it. Just going to make it. Look at that, huh? We'll curl the tail, bottom of the tail up a little bit. And save these guys, tuck the antenna underneath for looks. They'll just get all crispy in the process. I don't know why you bother saving the antenna after you mutilate the hell out of them, but just to show some respect, I guess. Oh, yeah. Let the room fill with the aroma. Want to take a gander? Smell your bowels. Mmm. Those bowels smell good. Oh. Every great chef stick his nose right into his food, man. It's the only way to really appreciate it. Hmm. I think we make a go with this. God damn. That should be just like lacquered and left like it is. Oh, you in the viewing audience, man. I'm coming to get you.